Good day Polinians. Welcome to Poline ETV, your partner for learning innovation and life formation. This is ratio and proportion. Here is our target for this day. The Polinian learner is able to visualize ratios, simplify ratios, identify equivalent ratios, and find the missing term of a proportion. Let's start with the concept of ratio. This is a set of school supplies. Let us give the ratio of the following. How many notebooks are there in the bag? There are four notebooks. How many calculator are there in the bag? There is one calculator. Now, in the bag, there are three notebooks in every one calculator. To write it as a ratio, it is four to one. As you see, the quantities are separated with a colon. This is a ratio in colon form. Another example. What is the ratio of color pencil to watercolor? The answer is 3 to 1. Ratios are comparison of quantities. It can be written in different ways. Colon form or fraction form. 4 to 6 is written in colon form. To change to fraction form, simply make the colon sign a fraction bar. Like fractions, ratios can also be simplified. The way fractions are simplified, it is the same as ratios. To simplify 4 is to 6, divide 4 and 6 by their common factor which is 2. Then, the lowest term obtained is 2 is to 3. If ratios are simplified, the ratios being simplified, and the lowest or lower term are what we call equivalent ratios. If ratios are not simplified, how do we know if they are equivalent ratios? Let us focus on the given example. 4 over 6 and 2 over 3. To find if they are equivalent or not, do cross multiplication. 3 times 4 equals 12. 6 times 2 equals 12 too. They have the same cross products, then, these two ratios are equivalent. Equivalent ratios are also proportional. If ratios are equivalent, then, they form proportion. There are cases that terms in a proportion are missing. How do we find these missing terms? For example, find the missing term of the proportion, 4 is to 6 equals x is to 2. There are different ways to find it. First is this. Do cross multiplication. Multiply 3 by 4. The answer is 12. Then divide it to the 1 without a partner which is 6. 12 divided by 6 equals 2. That is now the missing term. Another method. 4 is to 6 equals 2 is to x. What is the value of x? In this method, you have to check the complete numerators or denominators. In our example, the complete terms are numerators. Check if they are related. As you can see, 4 can become 2 by dividing it by 2. So whatever you divide in 1, divide it to the other. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Therefore, the value of x is 3. Another example. 3 is to 5 equals x is to 20. 5 and 20 are related. 5 can become 20. How? By multiplying it by 4. So, if you multiply by 4 in the denominator, multiply also by 4 in the numerator. So, 3 times 4 equals 12. The value of x is 12. Try to find the missing term of the following examples.
That ends our video tutorial for this day. This is Poline ETV, your partner for learning innovation and life formation. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more educational videos.